Channel, John J. Caslo Beloved people, things are rearranging, humanity is being realigned and the planet is being restored to its original vibration. Now the events announced to you are taking their course, now the time of upheaval has come and now things are getting done. Now every single person counts. The world is changing its face and so are people being rebuilt and reshaped at the cellular level. Deep within you, a transformation is occurring that surpasses anything you have known before. Renewed and equipped with all your powers, you will resurrect and give this earth a new face as a newborn human being. This process is already underway and day by day you are being drawn closer to your true nature. Many people are now experiencing illness, malaise, or are subject to major mood swings. Many of you attribute this to healing and that is correct so far. What is often overlooked is that these physical, psychological, and energetic interventions also involve a realignment and reprogramming of your cellular structures. You will be returned to the core of the divine original state of man and that is why the healings but sometimes also the pain that people have to go through are so big and massive. Hold on, stay true to yourselves and trust God in everything. Do not let go of your light-filled activity and follow the trail of your soul undeterred. Physical symptoms are part of the healing and you will heal in this world or the next. Because the healing of everything that is in this world is the main concern of heaven and the light beings that have accompanied humanity since the beginning of time. Do not be deceived by the false prophets who are now emerging those who stir up fears, those who spread uncertainty, those who feed your doubts instead of building your faith. Some say, that even the light at the end of the tunnel, when you shed your physical form, is an illusion and binds you to the cycle of death and rebirth. Some feel that in dying or in death you are left to your own devices and it is said, let everything be an illusion. But I tell you, it is the illusion that you have agreed to step into. It's a game where you want to try yourself anew and experience yourself as a divine being. It's living and dying until you've experienced all there was to know and righted all there was to write. You will be accompanied, supported and guided by a vast group of light brothers and sisters and by God himself. Far more than a lifetime you live unceasingly in his mercy. This matrix is also permeated by God. The only difference to lighter worlds is that God's presence cannot always be perceived by people. This creates the imperfection and this keeps the wheel of karma turning. I'm telling you, there is no world in the infinity of creation where God is absent. So trust that in life and at the end of life everything will turn out for the best, that you will pass through the gate into the light and find your homeland again. No one is left alone or unsettled by new trials in the great moment of truth. No one comes to harm who gets involved with God and relies on God. Every human being is in his care throughout life and is in his care when the hour has come to pass into the light. Love life and everything it offers and love life after life, because it is unimaginable what it has in store for a person who has chosen God. With unconditional love Archangel Jophiel.